Hi V. Hi, thanks for joining us. Um, so yeah, we're here at 101, um, working on the play Galatea. Um, I wondered if you could maybe say a word or two about how you find yourself here in the room. Well, I was recommended by Duffy and Nadia, so they recommended me to come, so I wish I was all over the moon. Thank you so much to those two. But, yeah. yeah, oh well, we're, you know, lucky to, lucky to have you here in the room, yeah. Um, I mean, how are you? What, how are you finding this week so far? And um, coming towards this play, Galatea. I don't know if you were familiar with it before this week. I'd never heard of Galatea before. Well, I was familiar with the word a little bit, but the play I didn't know too well, really. Um, so when I did receive it and I did read it, I was, well, I was astonished. There was a lot of queerness in it, which I just didn't think was a thing in Shakespeare's time. Uh, so I was astonished as to why it wasn't more popular, to be honest, but, uh, but yeah, you, you, do you know what I mean? But, yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, that's one of the things that we've been playing with over the past few days. Um, and in particular, you've been looking at uh, one of the characters in the play, Hebe, um, and kind of what they're all about uh, and how you might express that through BSL uh, and kind of physical movement. Um, how have you found kind of working with that character? So it's funny when I seen I'd been uh, given the role of Hebe, I was, I was looking through the text and thinking, oh, it's not that much. And then next thing you know, there's a huge part and a huge speech that, that Hebe does. Um, and uh, so I, I, you know, I, I read it over and over and over, and about the second or third time I got it because you know it's old English and English isn't. It? I haven't got perfect English, so I was astonished really. I, 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 it was that Hebe was a character that wasn't as vis visible very much, um, but uh, really the uh, it was it, the situation is Hebe's facing death, and Hebe's really just saying, "Let's go, bring it on," and she, she's not even fearful. Uh, which is amazing, really. Uh, he beats just very bulgy and bold and uh, sticks up for herself. Mm. I mean, how, how have you enjoyed working with the te you know, going back, as you're saying, it's quite an old, uh, you know, the language of the play. Yeah, what's your experience kind of taking that and, um, yeah, and expressing it in a way that feels contemporary and relevant, which, which is what, you know, the production's interested in doing? It's not, you know what, it's not as hard as you think. I think, you know, it's a sort of trans it's transferable to a modern day audience for sure. Uh, Emma, as director, uh, Emma mentioned uh, about the virgins in the play. So I tried to work, off, uh, work out a sign, an appropriate sign for virgins uh, within the context. And virgins at the time, and in this play, were often queer people, I'm trying to think how to sign it, but were often queer people that that hadn't, hadn't formed relationships and things like that yet. So it was one sign that I, I thought about. So it's basically, essentially the sign for, for queer, but then it goes into sort of curly hair, I guess, would be the, how I describe it with. So it's, you know, it, it, it's quite easy really once, uh, one time, but uh, you have to, we've got time to translate these things, so it's not too difficult to, to translate it to modern audience, you know. Um, I know we're conscious of time because we've got you know, work to be getting on with, but um, I wondered maybe if you could say a couple of two, two questions. So, first, what, what have you really enjoyed kind of working with in the past three, three days or so? Um, and then, secondly, what are you looking forward to doing um, as we go on? I've enjoyed most is, is the people, the people who've been around, and I'm just I'm thrilled to to work more with them. You know, Nadia, Duffy, and Sophie are the three other deaf uh, members of, of the cast. Uh, so I mean, uh, I, I'm just so excited to see how we get on and uh, so sorry how we work together and uh, you know in the, in, the, in future and uh, everybody's just it's been so lovely. It's such a diverse mix of people here. And it just feels like a real safe space for me. 
you know, not to criticise like other productions or companies or whatever, but you know, sometimes in other situations there's maybe might be not as much diversity and I might feel a little bit excluded and you know, but here it's this disabled people, queer people, there's such diversity here. And I just feel like every single box is ticked. So it's just wow. Feels so good to because I'm, you know, I'm, I'm diverse myself, and you know I don't have to worry about you know anything. It's just a real diverse space. I can just be myself, and it, I feel like I can. If everybody can just be their true selves and trust each other for who they are, then the play's obviously going to be a good end result for the future. I just, I just, I just want to work, explore more methods of how to translate this stuff and, and work through this stuff. I mean, uh, we do, we don't know, we haven't got a clue what's going to happen, but we're just going with the flow and trusting the process. Mm -hmm. That's it. Thank you so okay, much. Okay, awesome. Cheers. Thank you. <laughs>